Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Y'all are always saying like, Jess, I wish your videos were longer. I wish you would talk more, blah, blah, blah. And I really think that I'd be talking in my videos like too much. But by the time I edit it out, like there's just like only... 10, 11, or 12 minutes. So I'm gonna do a little chit chat, get ready with me today so that we can talk a little bit more. Um, but first, this is gonna be a little different. I know you guys love my natural hair and I plan on doing a little more natural hair chit chat videos, but we are in protective style season, okay? If y'all saw my last video, I was wearing this poodle on my head that's gone. We're switching it up, we're, we're, we're going to the wigs. Now when it comes to me in wigs, I don't really know what I'm doing, but we're gonna work it out today. I just don't really feel like doing my hair right now. My hair is growing, which I love, and I'm sorry I keep saying that in every video, but I know y'all see, I know y'all see the interest. Come on, I know y'all see these braids in the back of my head. I've got the Bow Wow braids going on here. Actually, Bow Wow don't even wear braids no more. So what I'm gonna be talking about today is the, just like the annoying beauty standards that are set upon us influencers because y'all i just be about ready to quit like oh my gosh sorry y'all left my wig over here i need this and it's actually very ironic that i'm is it ironic the fact that i'm deciding to talk about this video while i'm about to put on a whole full face of makeup and a wig but yeah we're gonna get into it and you guys have been asking i got a wavy wig i thought i got a straight one um what was i gonna say and y'all have been asking me on my Instagram to like give y'all a makeup tutorial or something. So instead of me doing a makeup tutorial, I'm just gonna give y'all the chit chat, get ready with me. I am not Jackie Anna, y'all. I'm, I'm sorry. I could do a little razzle dazzle, but I don't know nothing about nothing. So I'm not about to teach y'all nothing. I'm just gonna show y'all what I be doing. So the wig I have today is from RPG Hair. It is, it's a silk top wig. I was wondering what this like part in here is. I don't know what the difference is, but this is a silk top wig. Look at me with my silk top wig. Um, it's in 20 inches. It's a body wave and it's in the natural color. And this one is 180% density. So we've got ourselves a full one here and we're just about to make it work for me. And you know, they give you a wig cap, still waiting for the dark skin wig caps to make a comeback or just a come up at all period because whose skin does this match? Not mine. I'm gonna use it anyways, but yeah. Like do we need to sign the petition for some dark wig caps? Uh, I'm sick of this. A look. All right, let's throw this on just to see. Yes! Uh, hello? Are we ready? But we have some things to do before this can look acceptable. Ooh, sis got some grays. Girl, me too, it's okay. We're gonna keep them in there for character. So this is how long, oh boy. Okay, this is how long the hair is. It's 20 inches. Okay. I'm definitely going to straighten this. But I'm gonna cut off this lace first and then I will be right back. But so far, I don't know how I feel so far. Give me a minute to collect my thoughts. You know, so, so far I'm getting major E-er, Roddy Rich, the box vibes from this wig. But we are gonna try our best. So anyways, let's get on to what I was wanting to talk about. I wish I wrote things down, but I didn't. So if I just start flying off the handles, I just start flying off the handle. Am I gonna glue this down? I have, I'm gonna have to glue this down because it's not staying on my head. At least like right here. And I have a widow's peak, so, oh my goodness. Hold on, I gotta take this wig off my head. I'm sorry. See, that is, honestly, that's a great segue. Like, somebody commented on my page the other day, and she wasn't coming for me or anything, but she was just like, I hate how influencers feel like they have to always say, like, oh, I'm sorry that I'm coming to y'all looking like this, or, oh, y'all, sorry, my edge is not done, or, oh, y'all, sorry, my nail's not done, please excuse me. And I 100% feel her, because it was the other day when I made a video and I came at y'all looking crazy but that's not just how we all look like that sometimes but i was like oh y'all we must be in a long-term relationship because i'm coming at y'all looking crazy and she was just voicing the frustration that we really all have i feel like i can come closer to you guys i'm coming closer yeah i'm putting this extra elastic band on here to see if it'll lay tighter on my head but yeah i just hate how i feel like i have to be pretty all the time because bro i'm not i mean like of course like you know we're oh we're all beautiful and blah 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 like of course I'm always beautiful. I'm not always pretty. I'm sorry. I just 
don't have the time. Is it laying better? Is this better? All right, I'm gonna stop playing with y'all because somebody come out here and roast me and I have to fight. I just want y'all to know like, yes, social media is definitely, the, the job is a blessing. I will never sit here and act like, oh my gosh, it's so hard. But it is like mentally, it's a little mentally draining to be honest. I'm still gonna have to glue it down. It's just not, it's not giving me the vibes I'm looking for. It's like the, the tongue right here won't stay down. All right, I'm gonna make this part longer because whose part stops right here and then just have like a big old bump in the back like absolutely not so yeah like I literally for the past two years I've always had eyelashes on like I would always be wearing eyelashes at first I was wearing eyelash extensions and then uh, you know that price started to catch up with me because it's like $100 or $120 for the initial application I'm using a wax stick to just kind of make my hair stick down a little for the initial application on your hair and then like 50 to 75 dollars for a fill and you gotta get a fill like every two weeks and y'all i'm also being extra with the hot comb y'all i i knew what i came here to do i i'm prepared bought one of these just for my wig season because i already knew what time it was about to be so yeah i would always have eyelashes on and then when i when i moved into my own apartment i was like who was spending 300 dollars a month on some lashes <laughs> not i but i'm not spending that much on no lashes i got real girl bills now so then i stopped getting my lashes done but i would just go get strip lashes like a lot of the times people you guys will comment and be like oh what lashes are you wearing because i was always wearing lashes because i felt like ugly without them i really felt really not cute without those lashes on this need to be hotter it's not hot enough if you follow me on Instagram and you actually watch my stories, you saw that I said like that I'm trying to get used to my face without lashes again because wearing lashes, it really does transform your face. You just look like a different person. All right, I'm gonna glue this down because so far, your girl is struggling. So we're just gonna, I'm just gonna glue this front part here so that it doesn't look like it's flying off my head. Got to be glued to the rescue. I just need that middle part there to lay and we are on our way. You just lay. It's only you. You're the only part that I'm really worried about. Everyone else can do what they want. You're not even laying. I need you to lay. I don't think I put enough glue. No, I need more glue. All right, let's be a little more aggressive with the glue this time because I was playing around last time. I need you to stick. Yeah, that's it. All right, that should be good. Mm. Maybe a little more just in case. Oh yeah, there we go. Why are you not laying? Oh, I promise. I just need this middle piece to just not move. Please, please, I'm asking nicely. I'm begging you at this point, come on. I'm gonna just hold this here for a second. My forehead and this lace is just not even trying to get along. I need to watch some more tutorials. I obviously don't know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, people who know how to lay a wig effortlessly, blessed hands, I tell you. All right, that looks better. No, it doesn't, bro. It just doesn't. All right, let's try one more time. All right, this is actually insane, and I'm about to do a wash and go right now. All right, I'm gonna figure this out off camera because I'm about to split somebody, and it's gonna be myself. Hold on. Sorry. Y'all, never in my 28 years of life have I ever been so frustrated. Oh my gosh, it's insane. I don't know what's going on with this hot comb. This just, these ain't the same hot combs that we used to use growing up at all. I shouldn't be able to put my hand this close and not feel anything. I'm just trying to get the wig as flat as possible because the reason why I don't wear wigs is because I feel like they look like such a box on my head. This is also the worst straightener of all time. So just all around not doing very well. Hate that for me, big time. All right, this side's pretty flat, not really. All right, this side's kind of flat, so. We'll go with that. So let's talk about whew, YouTube and Instagram, child. I don't even know where to start. I mean, everything I'm about to say, I know y'all have heard it a thousand times before. We're gonna ignore this flap because I'm not, I'm not gluing the side down because it just does just, not today, honey. So when it comes to Instagram, I do realize I'm one of the quote unquote smaller channels and not channels, smaller pages. I don't wanna blame it on anything. Really, it's just myself to blame because I do not post as much as other influencers do. Like the year of 2019, I maybe posted seven pictures and a good influencer will post three times a week. I was posting once 
like every other month. <laughs> not good. So if you don't post, no one's gonna find you. But my problem was I was not really really big into wearing makeup or like anything. I wasn't even really big into posting pictures. And I just, I don't know, I feel uncomfortable. I feel, and I've said this before, and I know you guys are just like, girl, just post it, we love to see it. And I know, but for myself, I always kind of felt uncomfortable taking pictures and posting all the time and like saying, hey guys, look at me, do you think I'm pretty? Like I just, it's just, Instagram is just such a weird concept. Like I honestly do low key wish they would take away the likes and people could just post for fun, post because they wanted to. When you're an influencer, it's a liking game. Like you have to get a certain amount of likes and a certain amount of engagement in order for you to get paid more. That's just, it's our job. It really is our job. Like when I'm not posting, that means I'm not, I'm not on my YouTube. I mean, my, I'm not on my Instagram job and I'm costing myself money when I'm not posting. But I'm not even gonna lie. I will say, even though I'm really, like I've gotten better at posting, I've gotten way better at posting. I'm still not where I need to be because I honestly just cannot. I don't know if people, I just can't be doing my hair all the time and putting on makeup all the time. I really just can't do it. I don't know how you do it. I can't do it. Um, but I will say, my engagement, thank you guys, is just as good as people who have like twice as many followers as me and stuff, so. Shout out to y'all. My pictures and videos usually do pretty good, especially for the size that I am. And like I, I keep comp saying the size, like I have 48,000 um, followers on Instagram, which is a good amount. But in like my social media circle of friends, they're all at like 80,000 and above. But I do notice that my engagement is, for the most part, is just as good as theirs. Except for the one, when they started doing TikToks and stuff, their videos were to like a hundred thousand and mine was in like 20, 30. Look, I don't know how to do no TikTok. Even if I learned, I'm sorry, but that's just so much extra editing, so much outfit changes. Honey, that is not what I signed up for. I'm so sorry. It's just not what I signed up for. And a lot of the stuff that we have to do now to stay relevant or to get hired or to get people to follow us, a lot of it is just not what you girl signed up for, bro. I'm sorry, like, I'm just so sorry. Like now, all of a sudden, I feel like I have to have have flip flap full face in all of my pictures because it appeals to more people. All right, let me finish this. This is taking such a long time. All right, y'all, so <laughs> this video is getting real long. It's getting real long. All right, quick confession. The last clip that you just saw was from Friday. Today is Wednesday, but I, I finished that video and I looked, I was editing it, and even before I edited, edited, edited it, I got on Instagram. I was not happy with how the wig was coming out. It would not stick to my head. And I just could not post the end results, no. I couldn't do it. I just was not gonna do it, I'm sorry. Since I am working with this company, I wanna give them my best foot forward. So I was like, let me just cut and regroup. And a lot of you guys gave me some great suggestions, so. We're doing, we're doing a headband type of thing because I messed up this wig by cutting too much lace off and I tried to, I tried to pluck, I tried to sculpt. We just, we couldn't get there. We couldn't get there. So now I'm about to do the um, headband method. With this wig here, as you can see, I done did up my edges a little bit. We are working it out today because, well, y'all know why. It's bag season, I'm gonna just say that. We are not about to, we're not about to lose bags because I'm incompetent <laughs> on how to do a wig. Nope, put them clips in into these braids because, huh, not like anyone's really pulling on my hair, okay? But just in case. <laughs> okay, so we are moving the wig back to about here. I'm going to use this little thing that I took off of my church skirts. Yes, I did. And we're gonna just, Put it right here. Just enough for the edges to show a little bit. To make it look like, yeah girl, this is still my hair. We don't really need a part or anything. Don't have to blend anything with my scalp. It's just, here we are. This works, this works. See, I'm just here to show you guys that we've got options, you know? Like, I know that everyone's coming out with the headband wigs, which are great, but if you've already got yourself a wig, you just push her back a little, throw on your own headband, you're good to go. You know what I'm saying? Come on, somebody. So, shout out to everyone who DM'd me and was like, girl, if you don't put a headband on. So, anyways, back to my rants. 
So what I was basically trying to get at, when it comes to Instagram, on Instagram people like to see a painted picture. Like they want to see the perfect twist out, they want to see the perfect wash and go, they want to see the perfect makeup, the perfect outfits. Okay, so Instagram you really have to paint the picture. On YouTube I feel like you can keep it real and that's where I'm at. I'm keeping things real. Like the way my wig looked before would never make it to Instagram. But on YouTube I'm like, hey y'all, I messed up, it sucked and I had to fix it because I don't know what the heck I'm doing, but now we're okay. But now when I take my picture for Instagram, you're gonna see the headband. You're not gonna see the messed up lace that I did. You know what I'm saying? For people who don't have Instagram as a job, it's so easy to be like, oh, just post your true fans or fans. I'm so sorry. Don't, I don't ever wanna use that word again fans. Who am I? Beyonce? Absolutely not. Your true subscribers, your true followers are always going to ride for you. And yes, love you guys so much, but you just don't get successful off of only pleasing your true followers, your true subscribers. I wish that was how it was, but for the people who have millions and millions and millions of followers or who are making big money, it's because they're appealing to everyone is more so what I should say. Like you have to continuously want to grow and in order to grow, you got gotta reach the masses. You just have to keep striving to be better. But at the end of the day, social media can really be the devil. It can. Social media makes people do stupid things for likes. I'm not doing that. Like a lot of people will ask like, oh, like why aren't you posting your boyfriend? Or like, when is he gonna show up in the videos? And not because I'm saying posting your boyfriend is stupid at all, because he will eventually show up. But um, I'm not just gonna post him too early or before I'm ready, just so I can get more followers or get more views on my video or post him for clout. Like I like to protect my relationship because once people start involving their significant other, None of my close friends do this, but I just saw a video the other day on Twitter of a man pranking his wife. He made her a bubble bath and put like blue dye in it and she came out blue. And he thought it was so funny, but the girl was literally, her skin was dyed blue. I, I don't know, like, that's not funny. People are doing stupid, like I cheated on my boyfriend prank, he punches me. It's like, what is that? That's so dumb. I don't know, like the clout chasing. <laughs> not on my watch. It's just not. All right, I think this is okay for right now. Is this okay? Did I pull it off, you guys? Because I don't know what in the world I was doing before, but I think this is, I think this is okay. I think this is acceptable. All right, so we're gonna move on to the makeup, and I'm just gonna tell you guys what I use. This is not a tutorial. <laughs> this is not a tutorial. I repeat. This is this not, is not a, tutorial, a tutorial, but I'm just gonna show you guys what I use. So for this eyebrow pencil that I'm about to use, I've been shooting in the gym with this a very long time. So it's, I think it says wet and wild. Most of the stuff already came off. It's wet and wild, I can't see the color. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows really quick and then come back because I, I just, I can't do both at the same time. All right, so my eyebrows are drawn on. And then for the eyebrow concealer, I'm using LA Pro Girl Concealer in the color Chestnut. So I'm gonna go below my eyes. Let me just say this really quick. I am not going to sit here and be like, oh my gosh, social media is the worst job. Biggest blessing I've ever had in my entire life because even though I do have my bachelor's degree, and people ask me like, oh, what would you do if you weren't on social media? I have no idea, okay? <laughs> okay, I really don't know. I'm not gonna lie, I've always felt since I was young that I was made for a bigger purpose, like just for some type of platform. I don't know, I really thought I was gonna be a singer and that dream is, is long gone, but like, I tried out for American Idol and The Voice and X Factor plenty of times. I've gone, in, gone on at least seven auditions and you know, that's just not what God had in the cards for me. And then I went to like broadcasting school because I wanted to be like on E! News or like a host or something. But like a regular at desk, sit at the desk job, I just never felt like that was for me. I just feel like I was made to reach way more people than I could reach from by being just at a nine to five. Not saying that people who are, who are at a nine to five don't have their other ways of reaching people and other avenues and stuff, but I'm just saying for me, you know what I'm saying? For me, in my house, we was made to reach 
more. Okay, brows are on. Back to my man, okay? Um, I was not about to let social media rush me into feeling like I needed my man to be all of, on all of my social medias. Like, first of all, this is my thing, okay? He has his thing, I have mine. So this isn't really like real foundation, it's BB cream. It's the Kiss New York BB cream in the color Chestnuts. My highlight isn't chestnut and my foundation isn't chestnut, but I promise I feel like they're two different shades. Yeah, my foundation is definitely darker. Don't play with me, y'all. And I'm, a, I'm gonna leave everything linked down below. For me, it was so hard to find a foundation shade that was gonna fit me. I kept trying to look at girls who I felt might have been my skin color on YouTube and see what they were using, but there's so many different like things. It's like, okay, yeah, she's my color, but her undertone is olive. My undertone is red or what? I don't even know what my undertone is, but it's just so hard to pick a foundation without trying it. But since I started wearing foundation during a pandemic, Pandemic, we weren't allowed to try anything. So this is actually the first one that I bought and thankfully it matched perfectly. So I was like, oh, thank God. And I got it at the hair store too. Girl, this was like $8, like we are good to go. Okay, so foundation is on. Mmm, it looks good. Now I'm just going to put a little bit of highlight under the eye. It's the same color, the same chestnut with the LA Girl Pro Concealer. Just a little bit right here. Okay, so this is something else that's a little extra that I don't normally do, but I have done it, and I don't know if it makes a huge difference, but like I contour like along my cheekbone right here. I think that's it, right? And I use this. Cream contour palette. The darkest shade is the contour shade, but I feel like it's so close to my skin color that I don't really feel like it makes a huge difference. So anyway, back to me and my man, y'all. So I definitely do, I don't feel like I talk about him that much on here to the point that we've been dating for eight months and every time I slightly bring him up, people will be in the comments being like, girl, you got a boyfriend? When did that happen? People are like, oh girl, we wanna see, you wanna know how y'all met, blah, blah. Like, it'll come. It's just not coming right now. I'll be damned. Yes, I said damned. I'll be damned. If as soon as I bring my boyfriend on here, we break up two months later. <laughs> and you know, there's nothing that can really stop that from happening, even if I put him on here three years into our whatever. Like, we could. I mean, it's a possibility we can still break up. But I just like that I have something to myself. Like even when I finally posted him on my Instagram, I think I posted him maybe like three or four months in, just on my story, I felt like I lost a piece of me. I'm like, dang, like this was like the one thing that I had and now I have to share it with everyone. I was like, why did I do that? I'm not, like I'm not, I'm not hiding him. I'm just keeping our relationship safe. Okay, so for my eyeshadow, I pretty much always do like the regular reddish type of color because it just sits well on my eyelid. I really like this color. So I'm using the, the Impress You Beauty Glaze Palette. See that? There we go. I always just go back and forth between like this area here, this one, a little bit of this one, and maybe this one down here. And I just mix them until I'm happy with the color. I was thinking, since I do wanna do Vlogmas, I really wanna do Vlogmas this year. I think, um, and since we're always together, it's gonna really be hard to do Vlogmas and not have him in the videos. So I think by then, maybe the very first Vlogmas will be like a boyfriend tag or introducing you to my boyfriend so that I can just have him freely in the rest of my vlogs. And by then we'll, be, we'll have been together for a year. Like we started dating in December and it'll be just about a year. I'm not letting social media rush me to do anything that I don't want to do, like wholeheartedly. Do I want to wear makeup every day? No. Do I like looking really pretty? Yeah. So I mean, it, it's like a, you know, a give and take. It's a give and take. I do feel like my pictures look, you know, just a little bit more put together when I have a full face on, you know, I get more engagements and stuff. So, I mean, at the end of the day, it helps me. So I'm not mad at that, but am I gonna put my boyfriend on just because people are asking me? No, but that's really all I wanted to say on that. <laughs> Child, one time I did this and I went out with my boyfriend and he was like, um, you need to blend a little more. And I was like, what do you think you know about anything? How dare you? And I looked in the mirror and he was right. Oops. On Instagram, I feel like I have to try 10 times harder, especially because I'm a black woman, especially, especially because I'm a dark skinned black woman. Like, don't even get me started on being a dark skinned black woman. But getting something outside of hair content, please. They're going straight to the white girls. I'm sorry, it's true. And if, it, if they do use the black girls, it's the light-skinned black girls with the 3B hair. 
shout out to them or you know the mixed chicks who like come off as black but they're really you know whatever i'm not about to get into that but we all know it's true so it's definitely it's just you know it's hard for a pimp but i'm not gonna complain these are just the cards that i was dealt and i'm gonna play with them this is my hand and i'm gonna play with it so right now i'm just putting on my lashes which is usually like the last step besides like my eye my lips so these lashes that i'm about to put on are actually from my home girl alicia she has a business called rose golden and i love these lashes and i'm gonna leave that link because these are my favorite like take picture lashes because like my everyday lashes don't come across well in pictures but these see these from a mile away all right lashes are one okay so the very 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 last thing i'm gonna do is i use the same eyebrow pencil to line my lips so i just use like the liner and lip gloss combo got this lip gloss from the hair store it's just regular clear lip gloss so i just line my lips So I line my lips and then kind of try to smudge it out a little bit. And I feel like really the, the lashes and the lip combo really is what brings everything together. I know I say that with everything, like, oh, the foundation brings everything, but really and truly, the lashes bring like the whole eye look together and then the lip combo, the angel on top of a Christmas tree or something, you know? Mm-hmm. That's it, y'all. So. So that's really just it. I mean, for me, it feels like a really simple process. Um, I don't put like setting powder, I should, but the one that I bought was way too light for my face. And since I only use it just to take pictures and then I take it off, I don't really need it to set that much. So not, it's not like I'm going out for a long night, going to dinner, going to the park or anything. So I hope you guys like it. So I don't know, for some reason, I kind of want to do like, no, don't do it just. Anyways, you guys, so that's pretty much all I wanted to just do a little rant chit chat about today. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I gotta make sure for the last scene that I'm looking right. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave all the links below to my hair, to the makeup, eyebrows, lip gloss, everything. Thank you so much RPG Hair for sponsoring this video. Like I said, I'll leave all of their links below. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.